I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about five ways to help get your home sold in a softening or declining market. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we're talking about five ways to help get your home sold in a softening or declining market. Now obviously the market here has shifted and we are seeing homes sit on the market longer, fewer pending sales, and growing inventory. So as someone who's got experience in this kind of market, there's a couple of things that we look at to help get homes sold across the board. Number one, one of the most important things is pricing your home com competitively. Now this ultimately opens the market versus narrowing the market. It opens your home to more buyers, more viewers, and ultimately the more people who are coming into the home, the more chances are somebody's going to fall in love with it and want to write an offer. And maybe even several. We've had a few this last week where we've had multiple offers. So it does still happen even in a softening market if your home is priced correctly. Now, if you have it on the market, so this is the second trick, if you have it on the market and it's sitting there and you're not getting a lot of showings and you're not getting any offers, you want to make sure to adjust that price fairly quickly. Don't let the home languish on the market because in a declining market, each month that goes by, home prices are dropping and you have no control over your neighbors who may have higher need to sell the home and may lower the price. So the sooner that you can adjust that price, the sooner you'll get your home sold and get a better price for that home. Now, you don't want to just adjust it for $5,000. Most buyers can do that themselves. So most of the time, if you're not getting a lot of showings or offers, you're generally between 3 to 5% or more overpriced. So really watch that and make sure that you're being aggressive with that price adjustment. Now, another thing you can do is declutter and depersonalize. If you haven't already done so, Take the time to put some of those extra things away. All of the extra stuff that is sitting out in your home can really distract the eyes of the buyer and make the home feel smaller than it really is. So be sure to take, those, take the time to put those things away and help the buyer use their imagination to see themselves in your home. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your home is available for showings. Now, obviously, there's always times when you may not be able to show the home, especially when you have pets, things like that. And arrangements can be made for those showings. But the more available your home is for showing, the more people can come to see it. So make sure your home is available as much as possible for showings. And if you're not available during certain times, let your, myself or your agent know in advance so that they can announce that to people. Last but not least, you can also offer incentives. So you may be able to offer closing cost credits. You may be able to um, include appliances or maybe even some furniture that you're probably not going to take to the next home. Or if you live in a homeowners association, you can also offer to pay homeowners association dues for that first year or perhaps more than that. So those may be ways, especially if you do have high homeowners association dues, to be creative about how to get buyers to buy your home. If you have any other questions or need any assistance in helping get your home sold in this kind of market, give us a call. We're here to help. My number is 562-316-2915 or you can email me at melinda at Thank you so much for watching and please Feel free to forward and share this with your friends.